Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix system error. A critical error has occurred and the process must be terminated. Would you like to create a crash term to aid the developers in troubleshooting this issue? This may take up to 5 minutes. Please note, the process may appear unresponsive during this time. System error, a full memory dump of this process. Let us better troubleshoot the issue, however it generates a considerably larger file that may take much longer to upload. So if you are getting this error while launching the game to XKO closed beta on your PC, then here follow the fixes to solve this error. The first fix is to simply restart your PC. So click on windows icon and then click on power menu and then select restart option and after your PC restart then launch the to XKO closed beta game and check if your problem is solved or not. If not, then move to the second fix. Second fix is to launch the game in offline mode. So try this trick. So launch the game in offline mode from the file directory first. Then while that is crashed in the background, launch the game from the client simultaneously. So to do so, go to the game installation folder. And when you are on the game installation folder, double click this offline launcher and launch the game and when it get crashed in the background then go to the right client and then click the play button from here it will fix the issue if not then go to this third solution the third solution is to start vgc service so in windows search type services and open it now here look for vgc right click on vgc select properties then a shutter type select automatic and then click on start wait for it it will take some time and once it completed click on apply then ok and then you can launch the game and check fourth solution is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in the compatibility mode so go to the game installation folder open live folder then double click the line exe file and check if this fix or not if not then open line folder open binaries folder open win64 folder now double click line win64 shipping exe file and check if that work or not if not then right click on it then go to properties now go to compatibility tab tick mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder from here itself and check if that fixed the issue or not if not then in the compatibility tab tick mark run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 hit apply ok then launch the game and check if that doesn't work then from the drop down select windows 7 hit apply ok and then launch the game and check if it's still not working then click disable full screen optimization option as well hit apply ok and then launch the game and check now if still your problem is not fixed then untick all these boxes hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video Fifth solution is to close the conflicting or unnecessary program. So close Steam, Epic Games or other games launcher. Then disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick controllers, multiple monitors connected to PC and then launch the game and check. Unplug the Logitech or Threatmaster Racing Wheel and the task for MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, HW Info, Razer Synapse or MSI Dragon Center from Task Manager. Close all of your tab to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Sixth solution is to disable overlay. So disable NVIDIA overlay, open NVIDIA GeForce Experience setting general, turn off in-game overlay. Similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as Discord, GeForce Experience, NVIDIA Shadow Play overlay, AMD overlay and then you can launch the game and check. Seven solution is to Windows security user allow the game exe file to the control folder access and firewall. To do so in Windows search type Windows security and open it. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. Click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Then go to the game installation folder. Open to XKO folder, open live folder, select LAN exe file, click open to add it to the list. Again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, select offline launcher and click open to add it to the list. Again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now this time open LAN folder, binaries folder, win64 folder, select LAN win64 shipping exe file and click open to add it to the list. 
now go back click on firewall and network protection click allow an app through firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and browse to the game installation folder open to xko folder open live folder select lion exe file and then click on open click on add and after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked mark then again click on allow another app browse select offline launcher exe file click open click on add make sure both private and public is ticked mark then again click on allow another app browse open lion folder open binaries folder open win64 folder select lion win64 shipping exe file click open click on add and after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked mark then click on ok to save changes and then you can launch the game from here and check if a problem is solved or not if not then follow the fix it allow to xko through antivirus program or disable antivirus for a while so if you are having any third party antivirus program such as avast komodo avg casper sky norton mccafe bit defender then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well or you can simply turn off your antivirus program for a while and then launch the game and check and later on you can turn on your antivirus program now nine solution is to update graphic card driver so update your graphic card driver and then launch the game and check if that doesn't work then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver so if you are having nvidia graphic card driver then go to nvidia website if you are having amd graphic card driver then go to amd website and if you are having intel graphic card driver then go to the intel website links are given in video description so i am showing the example of nvidia graphic card driver now once you are on the nvidia website select your version of graphic card driver from here then click on find and the latest version is 581.29 you have to install this one game ready driver so click on view click on download and once this exe file get downloaded then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok you will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option select this custom advanced option then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done restart your pc once and then launch the game and check now 10 solution is to install visual c++ files so go to this microsoft official website scroll down download both x86 and x64 version and install both of them one by one so first click on x64 version now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and then install it now click on x86 version now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and then install it now after installing both the x86 and x64 version you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not if not then last solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game so simply uninstall the game from the pc then restart your pc once and then reinstall the game to the local drive ssd drive and if you have already installed the game in the c drive earlier then try installing it to external drive ssd drive and then you can launch the game and check so by following these fixes you will be able to fix the 2xko closed beta system error a critical error has occurred and the process must be terminated so that's all for this video if this video helped you then please like and share this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel to get the latest updates. Thank you.